Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Halloween Ends producer Ryan Freeman reveals if the film's story was impacted by pandemic-related production delays. The second of two sequels to 2018's Halloween will complete the trilogy of movies revisiting John Carpenter's 1978 slasher classic. The first sequel, Halloween Kills, releases day and date in theaters and on Peacock on October 15, while Halloween Ends is currently scheduled for October 14, 2022. The Halloween franchise has a long history of sequels trying to recapture the magic of the original, but none succeeded as well as the 2018 reboot Kel, which is set 40 years after the first film and Red can any other movie made in between. Evolving from a pitch by writer-director David Gordon Green and co-writer Danny McBride to Bloomhouse Productions that received Carpenter's approval, the new Halloween was well received by critics and fans, resulting in two sequels being greenlit. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends were originally scheduled to premiere in 2020 and 2021, respectively, but were both pushed back a full year as a result of the pandemic. Despite these delays, however, Freeman tells Comic Book. Com that the story the filmmakers wanted to tell hasn't been affected. He credits Green's vision and work ethic as stabilizing forces, sitting the numerous projects that they would have been juggling anyway, pandemic or not. However, he's concerned about what can happen when creative decision makers are given too much time to think, it's pretty much on track with where it was. David and, co-writer, Danny, McBride, went off and just wrapped Righteous Gemstone season 2 yesterday. The wife spent the last 6 or 7 months doing that. David's got his. He's such a creative force, that now is doing The Exorcist and he's got a Hellraiser TV series. The floodgates of horror are open to him, so he think also has his convictions and he think that he knows the general direction is sailing the ship. So, are we going to avoid little things here and there? Yes. Has it given us time to reflect on things? Yes. And, in some ways, it might be good, and hopefully not. Because he knows sometimes when he sit with things for too long, you can juggle them to death, instead of just going with your good. But to answer your question succinctly, it's more or less the same thing we've had going along. Elsewhere in the interview, Freeman discusses the future of the Halloween franchise beyond Halloween Ends, which he believes could branch out past iconic killer Michael Myers. Think there are other ways and other mediums in which to explore this franchise, Freeman says. Mean, there is always interest in exploring, Halloween 3. Season of the Witch again. Is it something we'd race to do? I don't know. Our focus has been COVID delays, figuring out how to do Halloween ends and shoot it, COVID protocols on that, all of those things. But I think it would be something, where we explore other outside areas of the Halloween universe. While fans of Green's 2018 film are likely happy to hear that the trilogy remains narratively on track, lovers of the Halloween franchise could be wary of the films continuing without Myers. The previous attempt to do so, the aforementioned Halloween 3, was poorly received at the time, but has since seen its reputation improve somewhat. Whether Blumhouse gets their shot at a post-Myers Halloween film will likely depend on how fans react to the rest of this trilogy, so it's good to hear that the team's focus has been on getting Halloween ends right. Source, comicbook.com